Big local story tonight. Police are looking for two people who broke into a house and attacked an elderly man. 73-year-old man says he was just watching TV when the two men kicked in his front door, one with a shotgun, the other a gun and a hammer. Now, 10 on your sides, Jason Marks talked to the victim and joins us in the newsroom with this story. Jason? Yeah, scary situation here. The suspects came in. They were obviously looking for money. One actually hit the man in the head with the shotgun. Tonight, deputies are looking for the two guys before they strike again. Who ever thought some hoodlums got coming here? It's a question 73 year old Richard Waters is still asking tonight. Waters was robbed inside his own home early Monday morning. They just can't come kick folks' doors, house, and walk in and do what they want to do. But that's exactly what two suspects did. They came right through his front door on Sandy Ridge Drive, an area in Isle of Wight County surrounded by fields. When I got ready to get up, that's when I heard that. Loud womb sound like a car accident. I said, damn, that must be a car accident. So I turned around to see what I could see where it was. To his surprise, that sound was the door being kicked in. And there were two masked men standing in his living room. One was pointing a shotgun right at him. The little one did the most of the talking, but he was standing there with a the gun in my face like that. I looked at him. He said, if you look at me again, I'm going to blow your brains out. Water says the other suspect was much taller. He went around the home, trashing the place, looking for money. They went all through the house, all back there in the kids' room, pulling junk, throwing it out all in the hall, throwing out everything. So you got money. Eventually, the thieves realized Waters had money in his pocket, $700 from a disability check he just cashed. It was meant for utilities and rent. They was grown men. So they had to know you were here. Yeah, they had to know I was here. The men put all the phones in the house under running water so this Waters couldn't call for help. He was able to get it after the suspects left. What kind of people to do that? I don't know. Now that's a good question. Waters says the men didn't seem familiar. Not even their voices were recognizable. Now deputies tell us there have not been any other similar incidents reported. If you have any information, give the Isle of Wight Sheriff's Office a call. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.